approve. We approve your request to unlock your device. Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock an iPhone mini 12. On my left, I have an unlock iPhone and on my right, I have a lock iPhone. How can I know this one it's unlock and this one is lock? Very simple. I'm going to put a SIM card. Let's start it with the lock iPhone. I'm going to use Mint Mobile and let's see what happened on the lock iPhone. It says activation required. Dismiss. Software update complete. Continue. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. SIM not supported, SIM not supported. The SIM that you currently have installed in this iPhone is from a carrier that is not supported under the activation policy that is currently assigned by the activation server. This is not a hardware issue with the iPhone. Please install another SIM from a supported carrier or request that this iPhone be unlocked by your carrier. So in order to use this iPhone, we need to take out the SIM card. Now we can use it as a Wi-Fi iPhone. All right, so let's do the same with this other iPhone, the same SIM card with Mint Mobile. Let's see what happened. We don't have that lock screen like before. And I think we're going to get signal soon. Yeah, look at this. Mint. Mint mobile. Call. Cool. Let's see what happened. Thank you for calling Walt Disney World Resort. All right. So that's a confirmation that this iPhone is unlocked and the SIM card that I put is working. Is there any other way to know that this iPhone is unlocked and this one is locked? Yes. If we go to settings, general, and then about, you can see here carrier lock, no SIM restrictions on the unlocked iPhone and carrier lock, SIM lock on the lock iPhone. This device might be restricted to the original carrier and have certain capabilities limited. Contact your provider for more info. And this one, we don't have any message, right? So how can we unlock this iPhone? The first thing we need to know is what carrier locked this iPhone. So how can we know that? We're going to go to a website. Go to this one, imeicheck.com. On the menu, select iPhone carrier check. You need the IMEI 1, IMEI 2, and the serial. We're going to get that from settings. So now that we have everything, you're going to click check. It says carrier US AT&T lock activation policy. SIM lock, lock. In your case, it can be any carrier. It could be T-Mobile, Verizon, Xfinity, Spectrum, all kind of carriers around the world. Once we know what carrier locked the iPhone, then we're going to request the carrier to unlock the iPhone. And how can we do that? We're going to go to a website. And this is very important because from time to time, I get comments saying, oh, this is a scam. They try to charge me. They don't try to charge you. You went to the wrong website. You're going to search for AT&T Unlock. AT&T.com forward slash device unlock. That's the website you need to go. And here we are going to select the brand, which is Apple. And then you're going to click here. Submit and unlock request. From here, it's going to ask, do you have a mobile number from AT&T? I'm going to click no. And then it's asking me for the IMEI. Grab the first IMEI. Go back to the website. Click, click and hold and paste. You can see that the website recognizes the device as the iPhone 12 mini. And this is the model number, A2176. Select, I read the legal info and click next. Now it's asking me to put my name, last name, mobile number. So let's do that really quick. Alex, mobile number, don't even click there. Because if you click there, you're going to have to put a number. Email address at gmail.com. All right. And then you're going to click submit. And it says, thanks. We got your request. Okay. This is the first step. We're just asking AT&T, can you please unlock my device? AT&T is going to send an email and I need to confirm that request. And it says, heads up, you have 24 hours to confirm your unlock request. So I need to click here, confirm your request. Click there. It says, thanks for confirming. Okay. So we're going to go back to our email and here there's a link, check the status, click there. And that's going to tell us if they are working on the unlock or if they approve it or deny it, right? Look at this current status deny. We can unlock your device because there is an unpaid balance linked to it. You can submit a new request after the balance is paid in full. It says deny. That's crazy. I have another device that I'm going to try right now. Just for you guys to know. This one is the unlocked iPhone with Mint. This one is the iPhone they just deny me. And this one is a new one. It's still a 12 mini. And this one is also carrier lock, SIM lock. Let's try with this one. Go to the browser, search for AT&T unlock. I'm going to select the brand, Apple, and click here, submit an unlock request. 
And do you have a mobile number from AT&T? No. IMEI, let's get the IMEI. And you can see model iPhone 12 mini A2176. Click I read the legal info and click next. You know, Alex Suniga, mobile number, don't put anything. Email address, we're going to put the same email, all right? So amigo Alex 5, submit. Thanks for your request. Instead of logging into my email on this one, I'm just going to use this phone because I'm already logged in here. This is the email that I need. So it's asking me to confirm yeah, the request. I just confirmed the request. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to the email. I just need to click check the status. And it says pending. This is a good sign when it says pending. So click check the status again. Chances are when I click check the status, they're going to tell me approve or deny. All right. So be prepared, guys. Check the status. Approve. We approve your request to unlock your device. Here are the instructions to complete your unlock. All I need to do is I need to put a SIM card from another carrier. So this device is now unlocked. This device probably is still saying SIM lock, but this SIM lock needs to change to no SIM restrictions. All right. So this device, it needs to be the same as this. Look, you see carrier lock, no SIM restrictions. Here it says carrier lock, SIM lock. So this needs to change. How is it going to change? Close it and open it again. And it should change already. Yeah, right there no sim restrictions now and now i can put this sim card remember i have mint here i have mint i'm gonna put this sim card here and i'm gonna make a call so you know that this device is unlocked so no bad you know they deny me one but they approve me the second one and you know mint uh use the t-mobile network uh, let's see network right away right but this is not available let's give it a minute right there mint no sim restrictions now let's make a phone call 407-939-5277 thank you for calling walt disney world resort that's it that's a confirmation that is working 100 percent, guys also here right mint so this one is still lock but this one it's now unlock and look at this i get the heads up we approve your unlock request if you don't have a sim card from another carrier what you need to do is you need to do a full backup of your iphone on the computer or icloud and then restore your iphone from that backup a lot of people are going to ask me hey but i have an iphone locked to another carrier my advice is to contact that carrier and ask them how you can unlock your iPhone. This method only works for AT&T because AT&T is the only one that is giving this free unlock portal. The other carriers, you need to find out what are their unlocking policies, okay? So let's say you have T-Mobile, T-Mobile unlock policies. Then you're gonna go to a website and it's gonna tell you what to do. I do have a video about T-Mobile. So I'm gonna put a link on the description but you should do the same with your carrier. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to support what I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can do more videos for you. Take care and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.